Hello there one and all, this is NDM here, welcome you back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. Okay, so in the last episode we got to floor 12 of Mount Blaze, and in this episode we are going to make our way to the top of Mount Blaze to thwart the boss. Okay, alright. So we were kind of struggling at the beginning of the dungeon and halfway through it. Um, well actually, we've been kind of struggling throughout most of the dungeon because I am very low on PP right now. And, uh... I haven't got any Max Elixirs on me, and there was one Max Elixir in storage, which is what I should have brought with me, but I wanted to save it for a vital situation, and really, so far it hasn't been that vital, it hasn't been, you know, critical, where I really, really need to use a Max Elixir to get my PP back, otherwise we're not going to make it through the dungeon, because the enemies are way too tough, and I haven't been having any of those kind of moments, so that's good. Ah, power band, just what I wanted. Alright, so I'm going to give that... Oh, Bulbas already equipped it. Okay, that's good. It saves me having to give it to him manually, I guess. Huh. Alright, there's another gummy here. I'm going to pick this up, and I'm going to eat that as well. Yeah, we're still trying to get through the staircases and avoiding... Oh, right, okay, we're already here. Okay, so I'm going to make a save, and um, we shall fight the boss, I guess. There's only two floors of the peak, um, much like it was in Mount Thunder, before we fight the boss on the third floor. Yeah, they, they have quite a lot of tough enemies up here though, so be careful. Huh. Like Arcanine, which is a really strong evolved form of a Growlithe. I don't think Growlithe... Oh yeah, Growlithe is in this game, but he wasn't in this dungeon, that's strange. Because Growlithe is a fire type. <laughs> okay, that that makes a lot of sense, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Ow, 26 damage. That's not good. Yeah, put him to sleep. Yeah, Arcanine isn't in... No, Growlithe isn't in the fire dungeon, but he was in the lightning dungeon. He's in Mount Thunder. Not in here. Arcanine is a cool Pokemon though, but not my favourite fire type. I actually don't know what my favourite fire type is. I'd probably say Charizard, because Charizard is a dragon, and I always thought dragons were cool in video games. You know, like Salamence is my favourite dragon type Pokemon. Um, I hate Dragonite because I've had really bad experiences with Dragonite in Pokemon Crystal. <laughs> Trying to fight Lance is an absolute pain in the ass. Honestly, if you've ever beat Crystal, um, I give you a pat on the back. Because <laughs> I tell you something, Lance is a really difficult boss in that game. He has two um, Dragonites that are level 80 or 70, somewhere in level 80, 70, around that area. And uh, he has... A level 70 Aerodactyl, I think, or a level 60 Aerodactyl, which is quite a strong um, level for an Aerodactyl, because an Aerodactyl is a really powerful Pokemon. But I don't... Like, Dragons... The only weakness I know that is effective against Dragon-type is Ice. So... Yeah, but I don't really use many Ice-type Pokemon, because there aren't really that many Ice-type Pokemon that appeal to me. The only Ice-type Pokemon that I can think of the top of my head that really appeals to me is Articuno, and Articuno is a legendary type. It's just that there aren't really that many cool Ice-type Pokemon um, in the series. And Gaily, I, I think that's how you pronounce it, Gaily, the floating head. Um, the floating eyes head that has two spikes coming out of it, coming out of its head like devil horns. Yeah, that's a cool looking ice type Pokemon. The one that Snorunt evolves into from second generation, I think it is. I'm not sure. Uh, I think it's third generation actually. Snorunt is from third generation. Delibird is from second generation, I know that. Um, Deli Bird is an ice and flying type, I think. Alright, I'm just going to get up here now, because I don't really want to waste any more time. 
Otherwise, I'm going to run out of PP, killing Arcanines and Feroes, which is not what I want. Is it? Is this it? Is this Mount Blazer's Summit? It sure looks like it. Wow, this is incredible. I know it's a volcano, but the lava flow is much higher than normal. This might also have a link to the natural calamities. Ooh, it's like a furnace. I'm getting roasted. I don't want to spend any time in a place this dangerous. Let's get through this quick. Halt! Huh? What? It suddenly turned dark. I can hear the mountain screams. Oh, power surge! <laughs> Someone turned out the lights! It is shrieking in pain. Someone is causing Mount Place to writhe in agony. Is it you? Huh? You've got it wrong. It's not us. We just happen to be passing through here. Who are you anyway? Show yourself. Gia! The mountains rage is my the mountains rage is my rage. I think he said. I am Moltres, the warrior of fire I am. There is no forgiving those who befoul the mountain in guard. In guard Um Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, considering we both have power bands, we're pretty strong. I just want to check if I have Orenberries to rely on. Yes, I do. Plenty of uh, plenty of Revivacies to also rely on. Yeah, I think we should be able to do this. Um, if it all goes well, that is. Yeah, that's also a problem. When you attack Moltres, your attack power decreases. And that is a hell of a load of damage he just took there. So I'm going to eat an Orenberry to get my health back. Huh. Bulbasaur, you can just use Razor Leaf. Oh, shoot. No, don't do that. <laughs> Thundershock. Oh, that did a lot of damage. 62. Yeah, I'm just going to keep you some Thundershock here, I think. Try and get through it as fast as I can. Oh, he's paralyzed. That's even better. Don't worry, dude. You're... Volcano um, eruption days are over. <laughs> no more causing this mountain to rage. 697 EXP from that. That's decent. And we also gained a level, so it's even more decent. <laughs> um, and obviously Tyler got 697 EXP too. Urgh, I'm not done. I'm not finished yet. Wait, listen. We're not here to cause trouble. We're here only because we were chased here. You have to realize this mountain isn't the only place that's suffering. Natural calamities are occurring all over the place. We, we are fugitives now, so we can't do anything. But we want to help other Pokemon that are suffering from these natural disasters. Do you say that sincerely? It's true, please believe me. Oh god, I feel a burp coming along. Oh, it was a silent one. <laughs> silent. That's good. At least the camera, or the camera, the microphone didn't pick it up. If you think I'm lying, look at my eyes. Look at my eyes and see what you can see. I can, you can see the future in my eyes. They are very mysterious, aren't they? Yes, they are. Wow, my eyes, they're so beautiful. Kia! <laughs> Fine. I trust that you aren't lying. Um, phew, that was scary. It felt like my knees turned to jelly. You may pass. Get through Mount Blaze and promise me this. Promise me that you will find the cause of the calamities that whack our world. Whack our world? Wreck? wreck? I don't know, I didn't read that. It sounded like whack. And don't stop. And stop the disasters from sowing more destruction and suffering. Okay, I promise. Of course, that's not possible right now, but. Yeah! Dude, stop that. <laughs> wow, we will, we will get on it. We, we are being hunted, so we can't get to it right away. But we are a rescue team. We'll investigate what's being behind the natural calamities. I promise. I will hold you to that promise. You've made me believe that you will honor that promise. If you do not forget the courage you showed in facing me. Yeah. Wow. Is there anything else? Jeez. <laughs> no. I was only preparing to take off. Oh, he does that. He does. Does he need to do that? <laughs> Farewell. Yeah. Well, there goes Moltres. Phew! Ew! That was scary. <laughs> but I'm glad Moltres understood us. That was key. Wait, that was key? Is that is that what it said? 
Anyway, let's get off Mount Blaze ourselves. Yeah, this place is too hot. Pam, Pam, we sure walked a lot. I'm bush, I'm bushed. Let's rest up. Hmm, it, the view is fantastic. Oh look, Lewis over over there. See how small Mount Blaze looks from here? We've come a really long way, haven't we? Lewis, do you remember how hard it was to get across Mount Blaze? I don't think too many Pokemon can get through there. And then we gave it our all to get out of here. Do you know what I'm thinking? We've come so far, maybe there aren't any more Pokemon that can get to us. You are right, no one can get to us, huh? I thought so, you think so too, Lewis, right? Yeah, you are right, there can't be anyone else, ha 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 ha. Alright, we can say goodbye to living like fugitives. We don't have to keep running away anymore. Ha 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 ha. Um, it's no good, Lewis. We've forgotten some tough customers. It's Alakazam's team, they'll keep chasing us wherever we go. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> and they're gold ranked too, so they're gonna really put up a fight. Yep, we don't have a choice. We have to keep going. I think we need to go somewhere no one else can get to. Let's be positive and keep moving. Gotta keep on moving, gotta keep on... Huh? What's the matter? Aren't you coming, Lewis? Huh? Am I tired? They're chasing us down. We can't afford to rest. And I told you already. I said I would go with you, Lewis. Oh, come on. N no need for that long face. I'm fine. Let's go, Lewis. I'll go wherever you go. Alright, so I guess we're going to keep on trucking along. And so Lewis's harrowing journey continued, seeking refuge in even harsher places. They fled north. They crossed row upon row of mountains, for forded fatigued swamps, scaled frozen cliffs, f till finally Lewis's tiny team arrived in a world full of snow, a frigid wasteland of driving blizzards. Um, yes, I will save. Uh, I don't know if to end it off here, actually, because there's going to be another cutscene coming up, and I think it's actually quite a long cutscene. We have to witness, so... Um, yeah, I will end off the episode here, and we'll continue on the next episode. So, in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team, we shall progress on with the story and see where our journey takes us to next. So, until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching, take care, what is in that studio, and goodbye.